This is a video review for Corel's Aftershot Pro. Now I'm going to start this review by saying that this program completely took me by surprise. I was not expecting it to do all the great things that it really does. Finally, there's a program that marries together an image cataloging program with a raw processor. Now I'm not going to go into every detail about every function that this program has, but I am going to give you an overview about why I'm really impressed by it. On the sides, you have two little toolbars that can come out this way and come out this way. Now, currently, I'm under the file system, so I can navigate through folders. I'm going to click on computer. Then I'm going to come down to pictures, which, by the way, is a network share. So this program works nicely across a network. I'm going to click on this folder, and then I'm going to click on that folder, and then here, we get to see the catalog of these images. Now you're not limited to this particular view. You can scroll this little button right here and make them larger. You can also grab this bar right here, scroll it out, and then you can view a double pane's worth. And again, I can scroll them to different sizes but effectively, the huge benefit of this program is I can hide that, I can click this, and I can hide that. And so basically, I have a program that allows me to view all the different images within a given folder. And then if I click up here, it turns it back into a dual mode where I can minimize the thumbnail preview, click on the image, and now I can get the full size of the image that I'm working on. I can click on this little arrow and bring these tool palettes out and now I can actually go in here and edit this image from within a raw processor. Now even though that this image is a JPEG, it will process the raw files. So for example, if you have uh, Canon or Nikon or one of the other DSLR cameras that take raw images, you can go in here and you can make these very easy, quick color correction adjustments. So for example, I can brighten the image with the exposure a little bit. I can use some fill highlight, which will effectively lighten the dark areas. Then I can come back in with the blacks a little bit to give it some more contrast. I can use the vibrance to give it some color pop, some saturation. Now all of a sudden we've got this really great looking image. I can use the cropping tool and tell it to enable a crop. And then with the crop tool, I can tell it what size I want it to be. I'll use a 2 by 3 aspect ratio. Come over here and click Done. And look at that. Within seconds, I've turned this image from something that was visually dull and gave it some color, contrast, and pop. So there are various things that you can do on top of this. It does support layers. So we can create a new layer, and we can tell it that we want to make an adjustment layer. And then now I have this brush that I can control, make the brush size bigger, smaller, whatever. And that's the mask that I just created. And then I can once again go in and make adjustments to um, the exposure, saturation, and whatever else but only on the areas that I use the brush on. So all the main features it really supports. Now this raw processor comes from Bibble. They have their own raw processing program, so it's been licensed out by Corel. And I really think that marrying this Bibble raw processor with this image cataloging program is just a fantastic idea. So, I mean, as you can see, you can just quickly scroll through your images, find what you want, make a couple of quick adjustments, and you're good to go. Now, when it comes to the interface itself, we can come up under View, Toolbars, and Float the Tools panel, so that now this can be moved on to a second monitor, giving you the full screen of the image that you're working on. Now, running down the side, it has various tabs that allow you to change the different adjustments that you're able to do. So now, for example, under this one that says standard, it comes with histograms, some basic changes. I can come under color, 
and I can use curves if I want. I can do some color correction stuff, color balance. There's even a nice white balance that we can click on to say that this color is going to be the white point. Oh, well, obviously that's wrong. I meant to click over here. And then once again, you know, it just balanced out the image. And if it's wrong, we can just keep clicking until we find a nice white balance within the image. Now let's say that we like this tool and we want to keep this visible at all times. I can click this pin right here and it puts it up to the top which says white balance is going to stay on the top so it doesn't matter which tab I go to that white balance remains. So effectively I can come over here and I can start pinning the specific ones that I want to keep visible at all times. So you can create your own toolbar that you can leave on a secondary monitor. So I really like this program. This product would compete not just head to head but it goes one step farther from uh, Adobe Lightroom Apple Aperture, Phase 1's Capture 1, and actually this product would effectively marry Phase 1's Capture 1 with Phase 1's Media Pro. And one of the things that I really like about this program it is more than competitively priced because the price for Phase 1's Capture 1 is $400 and Phase 1's Media Pro is $200, so you're paying $600 what this program is doing for under $100. Now one of the strong points of the more expensive products is the ability to batch process. Now what I mean by batch processing is the ability to grab a group of images. In this case I just grabbed three images. Currently we have this image selected. back over here just because I don't have it properly set up. Add a little bit of uh, exposure to it and let's say that we like that. I can go edit, copy, edit, paste. These other two images took on the settings that I created for this image right here. For example if I undo and redo you can see the change. So this program also has the batch processing features where you can grab a whole group of images that are all very similar and make the changes once and then batch apply them to all the rest of the images. When it comes to outputting, once again you can output in a batch mode. Let's say you have a bunch of raw images and uh, just for example wedding or something where you have hundreds of images that are in a raw format. You can quickly go through, make all your color correction changes, any cropping if you want. This also has straightening and all different kinds of features. You can then batch output them all by using either these presets or you can create your own. But in this case it's going to output an 8-bit TIFF. You can export with all the metadata and then it's going to go through the entire folder and export everything out so that you can deliver to your client. And about the metadata, here's a metadata tab right here. Now let me show you when I click on manage, I have all this metadata that I can add to these images. I can put in the copyright, the creator, websites, captions, titles, all kinds of stuff. This program really was incredibly well thought out. I can keep going. We can do sharpening on these images which um, also does a very good job on the sharpening. Come over here, turn on the sharpening. You know it does a nice sharpening, you can adjust sensitivity and even something really cool is they've also licensed out Noise Ninja which is the anti-noise program that I personally use in my studio. So the fact that this is built right into the raw processor absolutely floors me. And again, all this for under $100, and I, I'm beyond words. And like I said, uh, this program took me completely by surprise. I was not ready for it at all. When it comes to the cataloging, you can, of course, add stars to the images to give it ratings. You can color code it. And another thing that I can show you is that this is completely non-destructive, which means even though you go in here and you make all these adjustments to the images, 
and you do whatever it is. You can come in here and crop the image, right? But it is so easy to simply right click on it, settings, and apply initial settings, which means it takes it back to the original image. So if you are still with me watching this, I've taken up enough of your time. Please go and download the demo off of the web link at the top of the screen. Try out this program, give it a shot. And if you like it as much as I do, then most certainly go and buy it. Because if you don't have something like this as part of your workflow, you most definitely need to have it. Because there's no need to open up every image inside of Photoshop just to make some basic color corrections when you've got all those options readily available to you right here where you can pick all of your favorite tools and just pin them to the top of the screens and now I'm working in a small window here for the preview video but at full screen you could definitely fill up your screen with uh, all your all the best tools and again I didn't even go into all the different features like lens correction and whatever else so please use the link at the top to download the demo I'm sure you'll be pleasantly surprised